In this video, we will be installing the LCN6400 Compact Series Automatic Operator. For more information, visit Allegion.com. Let's get started with the installation. Let's identify some key areas on the opening. First, check the closer orientation since this unit can be used in multiple configurations. Ours today is a parallel arm. Second, take a look at the closer and make sure the body is correct. A regular arm is installed and the closer has been installed according to the template. Test the door and the closer by opening the door manually and allowing the door to shut. Be sure to check that the door opens and closes smoothly. You can always adjust the hydraulic valves till you reach the right closing speed. Let's get started by removing the closer's existing clips and cover. If the closer is not installed with through bolts, reinstall the closer using provided bolts and machine screws. Next, replace the pinion screw with a more secure screw and the washer provided. Then, add the installation mounting plate. Make sure that the flat side of the plate with mounting holes is flush with the door. Now that it's in place, snap the motor and enable switch assembly onto the closer spring too, so it will line up with the opening in the cover. If you're using wireless actuators, attach the receiver inside the coverage area using supplied adhesive strip. For today's application, we will push the end of the door loop into the hook until it snaps in place. Hook the door loop to the module on the end closest to the hinges and the side toward the door face. Now we can install the gearbox using the provided screws. Make sure that the gearbox sits flush with the mounting plate and closer body. Check that the pinion is fully engaged and the module touches the plate before installing the screws. Pro tip, don't force the module onto the pinion or use the screws to draw the module to the plate. Double check that the gearbox is flush with the mounting plate and closer. Now we are ready to begin routing the wiring through the door loop. Start routing the wires for power. If you're using wires for the actuator in the fire system, add them at the same time. Make sure to leave enough wire to allow for flexing and to be able to connect to the device. The LCN6400 comes with 30 feet of power wire. Be sure to trim any excess before connecting to the device. Now it's time to attach the other end of the door loop to the frame or wall and add the end cap for the through frame or surface wiring. For surface wire run, the conduit is to be supplied by the installer. For PA application, attachment to adjacent door direction, frame face is recommended. For pull side drywall fastening, ensure appropriate anchors are utilized or affixed to a blank wall plate for secure fastening. Now we can connect the wiring to the terminal block for power, the motor enable switch, actuator, and fire options. Pro tip, it is easier to connect the wires if you remove the terminal block. Use a small flathead screwdriver to lock wires into the terminal. Pro tip, gently tug the locking wires to ensure they are secure in the terminal block. The typical wiring diagrams for the LCN6400 Compact Series automatic operator is Pin 1 is the positive 24 volt DC from the wall adapter or power supply. Pin 2 is the negative 24 volt DC from the wall adapter or power supply. Pin 3 is the positive 24 volt DC out to the wireless receiver. Pin 4 is the common to the wireless receiver. Pin 5 is the actuate to the wireless receiver. Pin 6 is the common to the fire alarm relay contact. Pin 7 is the common to the motor enable switch. Pin 8 is the enable switch to the motor enable switch. Pin 9 is the fire to the fire alarm relay contact. Wire either the fire jumper or an NC fire system, but make sure that you don't wire both. Now we will begin the calibration process. To access the user interface, remove the cover on the unit. Manually open the door and allow it to close under the control of the closer. Now check the closing speed and adjust the closer if necessary. With the door fully closed, press the cow button two times. You will hear a double beep and the cow LED will start blinking blue to indicate that you are in calibration mode. Open the door to the preferred full open position. This position should be between 70 and 110 degrees and at least half an inch away from a wall or other physical stop. Hold the door still at this preferred full open position for two seconds until you hear a confirmation beep. 
the Cal LED will turn solid blue with successful calibration and calibration mode is exited. After completing the calibration, ensure the power and Cal LED are solid blue and the actuate and fire LED are off. Toggle the motor enable switch to the on position or enable position. Fasten the cover back onto the unit. Congratulations, you successfully installed the LCN6400 Compact Series Automatic Operator. For more information or for more videos like these, visit bannersolutions.com.